Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I would like to show you the way or the strategy to answer questions in talk of tweet test. The strategies are very similar to part three. The talk is only talked by a single speaker, and each talk is followed by three questions. The talk is quite short and often lasts less than a minute each. So, in this case, you must be quick to read the questions in a glance and also focus and concentrate to the talk or lecture. Topics for talks in part 4 may include weather and reports, airport and train station announcements, voicemail messages, advertisements, office schedule listings, store sale announcements, speeches about business advice. In a quick tip as in part 3, it's almost the same. In a part 4, you should quickly pre-read the questions and answer the options before you hear the talk. This will help you decide what types of information to reason for. So in this case, you need only 2 until 3 seconds to read it in a glance. In the tip 1, you pay attention to the beginning of the talk. And in the tip 2, learn to recognize synonyms. In this case, you need to enrich your vocabularies. The talk may not use any of the exact words you see in the answer options. A synonym is a word or expression that means the same as another word or expression. In this case, uh, you find out the similar words in the answer options. Don't, uh, you do not need to expect uh, the same words you hear from the speaker. And a tip three, learn keywords that may give clues to topics and main ideas. In the strategies of part three, I have told you that uh, the main to figure out the main ideas is from scheming in reading. And the strategies are the same both reading and listening. The differences is only from the sense. Mm -hmm. And a tip four, recognize words and expressions used for suggestions, advice, requ requests, or instruction. It's important for you to know how to identify suggestions, advice, requests, or instruction. And a tip five, Learn to distinguish between similar sounding numbers and words. So in this case, you must focus to the words and to the pronunciation and of course to the context followed by the words itself. And tip six, use vocabulary clues from the answer options and the audio to find the correct answer. It's important to know the clues relates to the situation or context. Then it will be easier for you to find the answer options. Okay, um, that's all for the strategies to answer talk and to interpret talk or lecture in tweet test. I hope you understand. Thanks.